Hello everyone, my name is René Soto from René Soto Gallery in Norway, Connecticut and I'm so happy for this amazing opportunity uh, TCC Triangle Community Center uh, it's an amazing organization uh, that promote all about LGBTQ and thank you so much for giving me this amazing opportunity to show with the LGBTQ community my artwork and well we're going to need some um, some paint so some paint brushes and we need uh you know what it is a palette and i'm going to do something different this time and uh, you know like people uh call me sometimes picasso dali uh pollock and i want you to call me renesot why because there's nothing bad with they compare me with these people just because just one of my paintings but the thing here i want to have my own identity and we're going to talk about uh the pride of this month and why you should be proud or why you proud of so i'm going to show you through my art that i'm proud of my root uh, i'm proud to be latino I'm proud to to be happy, to be kind, uh, to be different, to be the way I am. And so, when we're going through life, we're going to uh, places. We should be proud that we are like a palette. And what is in your palette? And <clears throat> this is very interesting because. I just love to do research when when I'm going to do a project and this project just uh, show me that even that I think that I know much about the LGBTQ community I'm, I, I don't know much I, I just know little so I went and talked to people and I talked with many many people um, they gay they uh, bisexual they just straight so we had the paint we had the um, paint brushes and I'm going to do on my body uh, because we also should be proud of our body so this is an amazing experience that you going to rediscover yourself and on my palette on my palette I'm going to use this color because represents something um, from me and we have here red that I that for me it's love I just passionate about it I just love um, people I love community I love to help I, I, I love to be kind and so for, for that reason I have this red and we're going to start painting and going to use that part because I think, you know, even when we know about um, our hearts, <laughs> and also our brains, we, we discover that even our heart don't think is where we feel this sensation we don't have this emotion here you feel you feel it here so that is like kind of magic right This human body is one of the most beautiful creations and we got very inspired by.
let's continue. And you're also going to discover when the colors when the colors um come together they create an another beautiful color And for me, this represents our culture, our nature. It's very important to <laughs> uh, know ourselves from the inside part, you know? Like, you know, you have like a blue eyes or dark brown eyes or hazel or any color. But do you know what is inside you, inside your heart? And this is an amazing exercise. That is a, a song in Spanish. I know it's in English, but uh, the name of the song is Painting Your Face of Color of Hope. And for me and for many people, probably how it's been with this like violet, like purple. And before, be, because we should paint our faces on hope because we hope on many things. My point here is we should hope for more good things, you know? But not only hope, but take action in this kind of things. So probably sometimes we just complain about people um, but not being that kind that we expect. <laughs> sending beautiful message to the world are we uh, compliment someone and something in a person like saying like I love your sunglasses or I love your hair or I like your smile how we can promote good things how we can start changing the other side of the coin because sometimes we just complain about it that there is bad comments or a lot of bad things but what are we doing to promote good things and I love to compliment people's paintings for example when people I love every single one of them but because I do why not 
I I appreciate I appreciate every single piece of art, and for me, I just I just love them. It's it's like giving appreciation for something different, you know, because every person has the ability to to see things and express themselves in different way. <laughs> yeah. So for me, the yellow color, uh, for me, represent freedom, and it's it's like the sun. It's like. It's like your vision. It's like when it's in the morning and you just open your eyes and the sun is coming. That's the color of freedom that I feel. And we also should have this in, in, in our eyes. Freedom should be the first thing. And freedom, let me tell you, freedom is a human right. But we need to be free first of our minds. And that's the purpose of this video. I'm going to put here too. Because I love to protest. <laughs> and I love to say, like, we need a lot of freedom. especially from our minds. I wish that we are already in the future. We always have hope that the future will be better. That's the point. Let's start making this the future. Let's start to do beautiful things, more art, more love. Well, this is one of my favorite colors. This black. Harmony with our mother. 
So that's that's who I am. Earth. I'm part of the earth. We part of this. We should take care of this, right? So I'm very proud of my roots. Proud to be Latino. <laughs> And everyone should be proud to be who they are. That's the most important thing, right? <laughs> I love this experience. Thank you so much, TCC. Also, this color here, it's, you know what, Creati creativity, I'm going to apologize for my accent. <laughs> nothing to do and you would say like I would like to do something is when you activate creativity because that what it means so don't say that you don't you know are creative because you are you just start doing something <laughs> just do something this is uh, one of my other colors that I like a lot, <laughs> a lot, and I'm going to paint here. This um, my gray color. And I would like to to talk about depression. Depression happened for many reasons or with no reason at all. But when depression is happened to you, it's just telling you that how much capacity do you have to do something else. 
is like moving to this place. You know, it's telling you, you have so much capacity. Go, go, do something else, do something extraordinary. Get these ideas, put the ideas into the world. So that means depression, if you take it, everything has a positive and a negative. So next time the depression comes to you and visit you, take it, take it by the wings, grab it. And show it how strong you are. Keep it here in the muscle, not to here, not to here. You grab the depression here and you show it that you're able to do great things. That's happened to me. When I get depressed, I like it because I use this kind of feeling. When I see the world, how messy it is, and I say, how can I start cleaning this world? And I start doing more art. I start to do more things. I stop to be um, just crying but get out of this couch or wherever you are and start to cry start doing something there is many things to do go to volunteer go to the senior center go to do uh, any work cleaning the street without nobody seeing you but may, how you can make a change Call a friend, make friends. People say like, ah, I'm not good making friends. Well, and start being good. And also, start being happy. Start being happy. Like, people don't want to, to hang out with sad people you know so start making yourself happy put some music music is one of the most beautiful gift that we can have there is music to sleep there is music to relax There is music to cry, and that, and cry is no bad at all. Crying, wash your soul. I enjoy crying too. I take everything. Whatever that. crying is bad like don't cry cry please let it go <laughs> sometimes it's necessary to cry I said this to many people and
that an old lady said there is three important people in your life and I'm going to tell you who they are so the first important person in this in this world is you okay the second one is you and the third one is you and why are they saying that because some of the people when they ask in this question people start saying oh my mom oh my grandma oh my kids all oh, my friends like the three important person three important people and i say like no it's you because you have to be okay to be there for your family to be there for your friends so we had to take care of us of ourselves I, I love I love to kiss with passion and with love. If I don't want to give these feelings, I prefer not to kiss. So for me, to remember the passion, the love here, I just put in my lips too. I just love it. <laughs> so also I'm looking for uh, uh, <laughs> I'm looking for you know everything that makes you happy you should do it. And this is just <laughs> extraordinary. It's give you that feeling like how beautiful you can look you know just putting all this stuff together something that you enjoy because that's the purpose of art make you think different make you um, laugh about it
same, I'm using a mirror. Uh, but when you're painting, you lose the control of or the track of time of everything. So I just forgot that I was speaking in English, or trying to speak English. <laughs> And I just speak Spanish because that is natural for me. without painting it doesn't matter the way you look now for example I am still human This is create creativity. So the creativity is all in our brain. And here in our eyes and our hair. And this gives you these colors to put on.
be a different person. I'm proud to be an artist and I'm proud to belong to this amazing community and I think together we can change this world. Welcome to the future and let's start acting as a future that we wish and we hope is here. Thank you so much again. Have fun.